Hi everyone, it's Troy from Complete Health Geelong here. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this video a bit shorter than the, than the last ones. Um, <clears throat> and I want to cover limiting beliefs and how they affect us. And I'm going to show you a, a pretty cool little graph. Um, it's pretty simple um, and it'll give you a good visualization and a good understanding of, of what they are. So if we go over to the whiteboard. <clears throat> a limiting belief is I remember in the other video I talked about having the foundation for a house. If you've got a shoddy foundation, you're going to have a shoddy house. This was in um, breaking up with the narcissist and in pain. Um, so if you've got a table, now if you've got shoddy legs on a table, it's going to be off balance. It's not going to be very sturdy. So what would have happened is when you're growing up, Somebody somehow told you you weren't good enough. And that was one leg. Somebody asked you to, I don't know, maybe you were three or four and maybe a little bit young to do the dishes and it didn't get explained how to wash them properly. So when you did the dishes, you got made to feel guilty about not doing a job good enough for something that you actually weren't capable or trained to do yet. So they used guilt or shame. Maybe they said something like, um, oh, just, just pass it here, I'll just do it myself. And that made you feel bad. So now you've got two legs for I'm not good enough. Maybe you're at school and some kids were picking on you about something and again, Maybe you were nervous, maybe, maybe something, um, maybe it was a sport that you weren't good at that um, you were just too nervous and you fumbled or something like that and then everyone paid you out about it or bullied you. So now you've got four legs for I'm not good enough. And something else happened, whatever, whatever it was, and that put another leg here for I'm not good enough. So now you've got a foundation of I'm not good enough. And that's going to hold you back all throughout your life. Because that's your foundation. That's in your core. <clears throat> so you're going to spend all of your life living off these core foundations. Off these limiting beliefs. So our goal is to remove these legs one at a time. And put in a leg of, I am good enough. So we go back and we look at um, that feeling that you had when you were doing the dishes. And we reframe it. <clears throat> so we say, did you really do a bad job? Or did you were you just too young and didn't have the skills for that job at the time? Can you do them now? Yes, you can. Okay, cool. I am good enough. Well, I might not be good at that sport anymore, but I'm better. And I'm not nervous anymore. You know, that's just not what I'm made for. Because I'm an adult now and I know that I am good at some things and I'm bad at other things. So that doesn't matter. So I am good at other things. So I am good enough. Whatever our sis was, I am good enough. Whatever our sis was, is it going to be different for everybody? I am good enough. So replacing these legs, now you've got a foundation of strength, not a foundation of fear that you're not good enough. So now this will enable you to go out and do bigger and better things. Another thing with the limiting beliefs and, and things like this, <clears throat> if you have been with a narcissist, a narcissist will find out exactly which leg is which, and they will stab you with them legs the whole time you're together. They will use this um, to control you. They will use this to make you feel even worse about yourself so you actually don't have the confidence to leave the relationship. Um, they may, they, they, at the start of the relationship, they'll be so con so content. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll be wanting to know every single thing about you. They, they'll be um, just prodding you for all the information about your past and all this sort of stuff. They and you and you think, well, they 
they love me. They, how good how good is this? That somebody just wants to know all about me. But they they want to get to know all about you to hurt you later. So building a strong strong foundation is paramount to to healing. Because if you're still running off old limiting beliefs, you're still going to be running off old coping mechanisms, old patterns of behaviour. So we have to replace these. Another thing to remember with limiting beliefs is monkey see, monkey do. So it won't always be the case that somebody meant to make you feel like this. Um, I remember when I was growing up, uh, one of my family members who always used to call themselves a dickhead every time they did something silly. Um, it wasn't directed at me at all, but I know that growing up all my life, if I drop my keys, the first thing I say is, ah, oh, you bloody dickhead. So another thing to remember about these limiting beliefs is they're not your beliefs. They're not, they're not your thoughts. They're, they're thoughts that have been put there by somebody else that your brain has just learned to remember. So thoughts aren't always true. So that me, me calling myself a bloody dickhead every time I did something silly, they weren't my thoughts. They were thoughts from the person that I grew up watching say it to themselves. So every time you get a thought come into your head that may not be your own, that may be a limiting belief, you can look back at that and go, so this is what I used to do because I don't do this anymore. Um, it, it took work. It um, took a lot of reframing, but... Um, uh, eventually, you can get out of it. So now if I drop my keys and I do say, oh, you bloody dickhead, I'll be like, well, no, no, I just drop my keys, that's all. That happens. And then eventually over time, you'll stop doing that. And when you're telling yourself something over and over and over and over all the time, you tend to believe it. So this is unlearning learned behaviours. And this is what it's all about. Um you will wear a mask, um, same as what a narcissist does. Uh, you, you may not feel right now like um, like you don't feel good enough. You, you probably feel, you might, you might be super confident. You might, you might think um, you're, you're extremely confident, you can do anything. There's a good chance that's, that's, an, that's a mask if you have limiting beliefs. Um, and breaking up with a narcissist will bring you back down to that foundational level, that, that foundational level, and you'll actually be able to see that you've been living with a mask on as well. Um, the difference with a codependency or a complex trauma mask is you don't really know that you've got it on. It's all front. It's all, you know, fake it till you make it. Um, where a narcissist do, does know that they're, that they're wearing one. Um, anyone that can control their behavior, have a behavior inside of the house and then a different behavior outside of the house, they know what they're doing. Um, so this is important to bring it back so you actually have a core confidence, a core self-worth so that it's not a mask anymore and you're, you're playing your video game in first player mode, not letting the computer run it for you. Um, so I hope that helps and um, I am going to touch on this a lot more later on. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video to make you aware of this sort of thing. Have a good day.